Welcome back and we're going to talk today a little bit about the event something goes wrong with our zoom box. Now inside XBMC there is a little bit of source code that actually makes the TV add-ons work. You'll notice up here the custom TV edition of TV add-ons. There's some source code here in our system setup that we're going to talk about. Um, the things I'm talking about if something were to go wrong would be these icons disappear down here. Obviously, I can't use the box to uh, find my movies and my television shows if Genesis uh, or Phoenix is missing. Um, so we need to talk about what to do in the event that something goes wrong with our box. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a factory reset on this box here really quick. Uh, I'm going to go to Settings, HDMI, HDMI being a very, very powerful tool. And as we uh, scroll down the list here in our, uh, in our box, you'll notice there's this thing here that says Backup and Reset Accounts. Well, I don't want to back up my data. I want to do a complete factory data reset. So I'm going to click on that button and I'm going to tell it to erase the SD card completely. And when it resets the device, this will erase all the data from your device the internal storage, including your Google account, uh, your system, your app data, all of the settings and all the downloaded apps. This is also going to delete the source code, which we're going to put back in in a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and click on Reset Device, Erase Everything, and now the box will go through a series of uh, deletions and a series of restarting the computer. So as you'll notice, the box is just shut down and is reloading and in a few minutes here, it will take about two minutes for it to actually come back up. Just about enough time to grab a cup of coffee if you need it. Now this will be one of our longer videos, and again the reason for the uh, video being so long obviously is because of the time involved. Um, this whole process will take us approximately 15 minutes. Uh, location consent. Allow Google's location service to collect anonymous location data. Some, may debate, some data may be stored on your device. Uh, collection may occur even when no apps are running. Well, you know, I'm all about my privacy, so I really don't agree with that. I'm going to click on Disagree. The next screen here, it's going to uh, go ahead and set up. Again, this has all of the EEPROM information built into the box. So it does all of this on its own. Again, all we need to enter is simply two pieces of source code. Now, the box is currently setting up, and again, we have enough time to uh, take a few sips off our cup of coffee. Now, we're going to get to uh, select a home app. We don't want the Launcher 3, we want the F Launcher. And this is going to launch it into our correct interface for the Zoom box. Always. Not just this once, but always. There you can see you've got your uh, XBMC, your YouTube, your Netflix, your web browser. Uh, as I come into uh, up here, you'll notice that the time is set to military time. It does show that this box is still hardwired, so I do have a good internet connection. Obviously, I want to come 
in I want to set up the screen scale that is not correct it has been changed it has been modified I'm going to put pump that back out to the uh, red borders do go to the outside of the screen on the television I'm going to right mouse click out of that I'm going to come into HDMI I'm going to set up my date and time I'm going to tell it to automatically date and time but because I'm not military savvy I'm going to take off select 24 hour format I'm going to select my time zone which I am in Arizona click there and I am done here I'm going to back out now I can select uh, Wi-Fi you will notice if I come in here the Wi-Fi is turned off um, if you do have a Wi-Fi connection at home you'll have to turn that on and then pull up your AP list um, and that list should populate there it is there's zoom box I'm just not going to set that up again this box is actually hardwired um, I'm gonna back out of that we're gonna go over to our home and talk about the source code really really quick here inside XBMC uh, two pieces of source code I really need to put in um, you might want to grab a pen and a piece of paper at this point in time uh, the Navi and team at xbmchub.com if you receive this message it means for the first run here we're just going to X out of that and you'll notice that as I come down the video pipeline my, my box icons for Genesis one one channel uh, one stream all the sources they're all gone you also notice that it's currently doing these these updates down here um, I don't have the icons at the bottom again my box has been stripped I'm going to come over to system and I'm going to go to file manager Inside File Manager, I'm going to add that source code here really quick. I need to double click on Add Source, come up here into None. This is the path that the box will browse for the media locations. The correct path that you're going to put in is HTTP colon whack whack or forward slash slash. Um, it's going to be, uh, <clears throat> give me just a second here. TV add-ons dot a g again you're going to write that down because this is going to be our first piece of source code that you're going to need in the event that you need to re-format re, uh, the box http colon whack whack fusion dot tv add-ons dot a g I'm going to click on done and it's going to enter a name for this media source. I'm going to just simply call it Fusion. F-U-S-I-O-N. You notice I made it all capital, um, but it doesn't matter if they're all capital or lowercase. And I'm going to hit OK. Next, I'm going to add a second piece of source code. And again, I'm going to double click up here. And the source code for this one is going to be HTTP colon whack whack. And the whack whack, the, uh, the forward slash, that's the one right above, uh, right below the question mark on your keyboard if you're using a keyboard. And it's going to be Xfinity, X, F, I, well, again, I don't want those to be capitals. I've got to take my cap blocks off. HTTP colon whack whack Xfinity, X, F, I, N, I, T, Y dot x unity x u n i t y talk t a l k dot com again write this down http colon whack whack xfinity dot x unity talk dot com I'll leave that there just for a second hopefully you've gotten that written down I'm going to click on done and I'm going to enter a name for this and I'm going to uh, Call this Xfinity. X F I N I T Y. Now I don't need to click in this box. I can just simply put the mouse over it, or I can click in. You see, it, it works either way. Now I'm going to say OK. Now I've got Fusion and Xfinity over here, not in the root A, but in the root B. I've added source for both of those, so they're on both panels. Now I'm going to mouse out by backing out. Again, System. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to appearance. You'll notice at the bottom that there was um, a 
appearance. You notice at the bottom there was that RSS feed, and that was like a scrolling screen going across the bottom. We're going to talk about that really quick here. You see it down here on the very, very bottom? This actually slows up our box, so I'm going to turn that off. Um, settings, appearance, click into appearance, and turn off the RSS feeds. I don't want that to show. Just simply click that off, and that is now gone. We're going to go to uh, add-ons, and this is first run. Again, that was add-ons. You might want to write that down. System, add-ons, okay. And we're going to install from a zip. Zip file was created um, with Fusion and Xfinity, and we're going to start in Fusion, double click in, and we're going to click on the words start here. Then we're going to click on at the bottom, Plugin Video Hub Wizard. That is installing right now the source code. And I'm going to do that one more time. Install from zip file. And instead of Fusion, I'm going to come down to Xfinity, which was the other source code we entered. And I'm going to tell it Unity Talk Repository Zip right here on the bottom. I'm going to double click that. You'll notice the configuration wizard is starting and these things are starting to update down here. We're going to let those update. You can see right here it says currently downloading these add-ons. These are the add-ons that we're using. These are the add-ons that we're going to have um, in place um, in just a few moments. Now we need to do one other thing and that is um, correct this box and make it um, accessible. We're going to go into services Actually, let me back out here. System, just in case you get lost, follow along. System, services, merge. Bear with me for just a second here. Programs, programs is where we're going to go, not system. Um, the next thing we're going to do is program add-ons. We want to make sure that, again, because this is an Android device, that we get it flashed into a program that's functional. In Program Add-ons, we're going to select the Configuration Wizard. Program Add-ons Configuration Wizard. Now, this is going to flash the box. We do not want to flash it into a Mac or a Windows or a format for Apple TV or one of these other devices here. We do want to select Android in the upper right-hand corner. Not anything down here, Linux or MyJika. Uh, we do want to use the Android platform because, again, this is an Android media streaming device. Very important. Click on Android. Uh, customize your add-on selections that have been downloaded and installed. Yes. And it's currently downloading the configuration wizard. Extracting zip file. And this is extracting all of the source code that we just put in for those two, two primary add-ons known as repositories, which are going to help us to get everything. You'll notice the back skin just changed to the purple color, and there are our icons right there, the music, the videos. I can simply click into Genesis. Uh, I'm going to look under Movies. I'm going to go down to uh, Most Voted. And here are the most voted movies. I'm going to watch Pulp Fiction just to make sure my box is back up and running. All the streams have been pulled down. 1080 link at the top. And just like that, I am back in business. So that has been our video on uh, stripping the box down, entering the source code, now, a couple things you'll have to do uh, that we've talked about in other videos, and if you're not familiar with, those would be download apps. I'm going to back out of this really quick and go to our home screen. And uh, you'll notice inside our smart apps, there's some things missing. Um, there's no antivirus. You'll want to download a couple of smart apps using Aptoid or the Play Store. Um, my favorite is Aptoid. Showbox, Sky HD, 